Hello, Donny Dolphins. It's Mr. Drone, the assistant principal. As you know, we just entered the month of November. So for PBIS, our theme for the month of November is respect and showing respect. So everybody, you pretty much know what respect is. You're listening to others. You're showing uh, support for others. You're showing kindness. You're being polite. And you, by doing those things, you're validating a person's importance and letting them know that they make a difference and that they matter. So if you do those things every day, you are showing respect, not only to your classmates, but to your teachers. So keep that in mind as we go forward through the month of uh, November and throughout the rest of the year. You really always want to be respectful. That shows what your character truly is, if you can respect other people. So I have been in a lot of classrooms this week and teachers have been sending me emails. I just want to do some shout outs right now for this week uh, from Miss White. She says, um, hi, Tom, here are my two shout outs, Mariana Colon Ortiz. When Mariana is in a breakout room, uh, she always makes sure she shares with her partner and listens to them. Mariana stays on topic and shows she is listening by responding to her partner. She is respectful and responsible no matter what activity we do together. And also for Miss White's class, Adriel Rivera. Adriel consistently shows that he is an active and respectful listener. He keeps his eyes on the screen, sits up tall, and has a calm body. He always waits his turn to speak and sets a great example for his classmates. Outstanding examples of respect and responsibility that we talk. From this parent, uh, she wants me to shout out to Mary Liani Espada and Reagan to the, uh, for, for this Friday's video. They both wrote about their IDR reading books when no teacher actually told them they had to. They took responsibility for their own learning and used the tools we went over in class to understand their reading. Awesome. Great job. From Miss Rock, I would like to recognize Jameer Crossley and Nancy Gonzalez. Both of these students demonstrate respect at Dunyu by following class rules, listening to others when it is their turn to speak, and being kind to teachers and peers. They are model students who come to school every day and put forth their best effort. Awesome to hear. From Miss Langlois, she wants to recognize Evie from grade eight. She showed great respect when before our advisory, she and I had a discussion regarding politics and she spoke about respecting the opinion of others, even if we do not agree with it. So that is so important in, in today's, uh, you know, what's going on today with the election. It's always uh, important to respect each other's opinions, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or you represent another party, you always have to show respect to other people's beliefs and opinions. That is a true sign of respect. So great job. From Mr. Zyla. I would like to recognize two eighth grade students, Genelez Fr uh, uh, Franco and Brianna McMahon. I observed both students being kind and respectful to their peers in breakout rooms. They listen to others' opinions, respond in a way that shows they care, supports others when needed, and always have a positive attitude each day in class, even when the task becomes challenging. Keep up the good work. That is great to hear about those students. From Ms. Latchett, Hi, I would love it if you could recognize Bria Gonzalez and Carlos Velez. Both students have been showing respect by looking at the speaker when they are talking or sharing, using the mute unmute button correctly and using their materials uh, correctly during our learning time. Great job to those students. From Mr. Sheridan, hi Tom. I'd like to shout out uh, Davina Vega in grade four for showing amazing respect uh, to, actually, I think it's Divine, it's a, maybe a mistake. Divine uh, Vega in grade four for showing amazing respect to his classmates both in and out of class. He has worked hard to keep peace between students during times of conflict and to teach students patiently and respectfully when asked to be a team leader. Um, that was from grade four. From grade five from Mr. Sheridan, he wants to give a shout out to Omar Durek. Omar has been a wonderful addition to our class since day one, always waiting his turn to speak and always making sure to give his classmates a fair chance to participate. Omar respects his teachers and peers' learning space each and every day. Great to hear. From Mr. Pelty or Tom, for my shout out, I would like to highlight Jirai Fortellis of grade seven and Christopher, uh, Christopher Rodriguez in grade eight. Both of these gentlemen are extremely respectful. Each day they enter class with a positive attitude and ask not only how I am, but how their classmates are. During class, they both actively listen and respond to all inquiries and, opi and opinions in a manner that exemplifies respect in the Dunyu way. It is truly a pleasure to have them in class and it is my honor to shout them out for the respectful way. Great to hear. From Miss Parent, 
Miss Parent would like to shout out Janaya Vega and Juliana Vagia Morales for being respectful partners in breakouts. Great job. Great to hear. For Miss Bizzotto, Abby Hernandez demonstrates respect because she always raises a quiet hand when she has something to share. She waits for me to call on her and then she unmutes herself. She respects other students by waiting her turn and knows that if she didn't get to share this time, she will have her turn another time. Uh, Ms. Bizzotto also wants to recognize Jaden Gracia Rivera, who demonstrates respect by sitting with a calm body in his chair and looking at the screen, which shows me he's being a good listener and respects what the teacher says. Absolutely. From Ms. Thomas, uh, Divine Sanchez. Divine shows up daily to, uh, to reading, to learn, and be respectful to all. Excuse me. Divine shows up uh, daily, ready to learn, and respectful to all. He regularly does his best in class in a breakout room while playing with a math game. I noticed Divine speaking kindly with his partner and staying on task the whole time. Also, Abraham Sanchez. Abraham is an example of leadership in room six. He never interrupts others and participated regularly in class. Abraham shows respect by paying attention and supporting others, other students daily. Great to hear from Mr. Manj. Shailianese Baez Chaparro always has her camera on and you can see that she actively listens to whoever is speaking. Also, Destiny Martinez Ramos is the first to give spirit fingers after a fellow classmate shares uh, a piece of writing. That's great to hear. Um, from Miss D, this was going to be a shout out from last week and I completely forgot, but this is such an important uh, email from Miss D, uh, the art teacher. Hi, Tom. I know it is very early for shout outs, but I have some very important ones that I'd like to share with you. I would like to shout out Keisha Allers, Jomar Nieves, Aniza Nieves, Emma Maldonado, and Jedediah Orocho for coming to help me with a Black Lives Matter diversity mural in Northampton. And that was a couple of Fridays ago. I want to thank these students for their amazing help painting, but also their beautiful words, perspectives, and time. They did an incredible job, and I am so proud of each one of them. These students are becoming such amazing artists, activists, and young adults, and I am so thankful for them. As are we, Ms. D. That is outstanding. Thank you to those students. Great job. And finally, for Mr. Britton, Mr. Drone, if possible, I would like for you to give Eliza Beltron from Grade 5 a shout-out. He is doing an excellent job attending both our morning reading group and our afternoon English class. He consistently participates in class and is a great role model for his classmates. So thank you to those teachers and especially thank you to those students for demonstrating um, respect, especially respect for this month, but also continuing to show your readiness to learn and being responsible as well. Um, great job, and we will see you next week. Happy November. We got Thanksgiving coming up in a few weeks. We have Veterans Day next Wednesday, so we're going to honor our veterans next Wednesday. So that's another way to show respect for all the people that have uh, defended our country and our freedom over hundreds of years. All right, so take care, everybody, and um, stay calm, relax. Everything's going to be okay, no matter how the election turns out everything's going to be just fine. Okay. So no anxiety, no stress. We're going to do things great at Dunny like we do all the time. Greatness at Dunny We'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great weekend.